Donald Trump is closer to the Queen of England's age than his wife Melania's. There is a little fact for you to digest right there. So, with that in mind, what if the big D and the big Q hooked up and got all up in our matrimonial grills? What a question. Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and today I'm asking, what if Donald Trump married the Queen? Before we lift the veil on this question, I just want to ask you guys if you live in the USA or the UK to wave your hands in the air like you just don't care, or maybe just leave a flag from the country that all of you are from in the comments box down below. So, say the longest reigning British monarch and the 45th president of the United States did actually meet, and in some kind of off chance weird twisted universe fell in love, the road to marriage would be especially tricky. Could the pair even marry if they wanted to? Donald Trump is 71 years old, Melania Trump is 48, and Queen Elizabeth II is 92. While technically this does mean that the 45th pres of the United States is closer in age to her match than Melania, the Queen would be almost double the age of his third wife, which, you know, may make Queen Elizabeth feel a little self conscious. Although her sister was actually reportedly partial to a younger chap, so maybe she'd be down with it. Saucy musings aside, the Queen cannot and would not divorce her husband. Queen Elizabeth is the head of the Church of England and has stuck out her marriage partly out of love, but also partly out of duty to her Christian faith. Elizabeth and Philip have been married since 1947, 71 years, aka the entirety of Donald Trump's life. It seems very unlikely at this juncture that they would divorce. The only way the Queen and Trump would likely marry in this extremely unlikely parallel universe is if His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh sadly passed away. Soon to be 97, this isn't beyond the realm of possibility, however I imagine the grieving process for a national icon would set back wedding proceedings a year or more. By the time the Queen did get round to marrying Trump, she would be one of Britain's oldest brides. I can only imagine the headlines now. The Daily Mail would have so many field days with the whole affair, it might just save journalism for the next decade. Global news outlets would also go wild, and the whole world would be pretty shocked. But then again, maybe not. Who knows what other crazy things are happening in an alternate universe where the Queen and Trump are bonking? Green skies? Talking animals? Flying pigs? Need I go on? So, Mr. and Mrs. Trump. Trump, eh? Nay. Prince Philip wasn't allowed to give the Queen his last name, he had to take hers. President Trump would be Donald Windsor from now on, unless otherwise agreed. The big question here though is, would he get to wear a crown? Well, no. The Queen outranks her husband. If the Queen and Donald Trump did get married, Donald Trump would not be king, but instead Prince Consort. Although, actually, he wouldn't be deemed a prince at all. In the United States federal law, a US president cannot hold a title title of nobility unless approved by Congress. If he were to become a duke of some area of the United Kingdom, say Belfast, there would likely be uproar from the residents. In fact, there'd likely be uproar in general. The Queen is famously and traditionally apolitical, so marrying a politician would cause a lot of raised eyebrows at the very least, and a swathe of protests at the very most. Sure, Trump is a politician, but marrying the Queen wouldn't actually gain him any power in the UK. The Queen only has her royal prerogative powers but they aren't shared with her husband. The best Trump could hope to enjoy would be a string of official duties, like attending galas or going on state tours. Once again, I reiterate that marrying the Queen would not give Trump any power in Parliament. The marriage would pose a lot of geographic issues, as neither active head or state in the history of the UK and the USA has ever lived outside of their home country. Long distance would be tricky for an elderly pair, but perhaps the main issue would be solved by making the UK a 51st state. It's only a tiny bit further away than mainland USA than Hawaii after all. If the Queen and Trump did marry, many may expect a lavish wedding. Trump's past three weddings have been somewhat sizeable, and the wedding of a monarch or heir of the throne is usually cause for national celebration in the UK. However, the D word would be there to scupper things once more. Charles caused some scandal when he married Camilla in a somewhat more muted royal wedding, but the pair were allowed to go ahead as they had a history. Donald, with three divorces under his belt, would be unlikely to be welcome into the establishment. Plus, the British public are pretty divided when it comes to the 45th President of the United States. At least Piers Morgan would be a firm attendee on the guest list. 
Ugh, peers. Beyond the wedding, Trump would be stepdad to the first in line to the throne, Charles as well as stepfather to Prince Edward and Princess Anne. I imagine their responses to their new family member may be somewhat tepid. Of course, Trump would become step granddad to William and Harry, while Ivanka and gang would embrace their third or fourth mummy. Imagine the Christmas cards. Actually, best not to. Well, while this was fun, I think that we can rest assured that this will never, ever, ever, ever happen. Like, ever. I think nuclear winter or alien invasion is far more likely, but here at Life's Biggest Questions, we do enjoy a little light-hearted musing. Let us know what you think a Trump slash Queen Liz union would be like in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and stay subscribed for more big answers. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning.